Hi, my name is Christine Legree and I'm a dietetic intern at OSF St. Francis Medical Center. Today I'd like to talk to you about nutrition after cancer treatment. It's recommended that survivors follow the guidelines for cancer prevention. These guidelines emphasize a low-fat, high-fiber diet that is high in fruits and vegetables and low in red and processed meats and alcohol. Good nutrition is important to provide you with energy, which will help you regain strength and rebuild tissue. Some eating-related side effects, such as poor appetite, dry mouth, fatigue, or change in taste and smell, may be caused by dehydration. So let's first talk about staying hydrated. The majority of your body is made up of water, so to perform all tasks throughout the day, we want to make sure you're staying hydrated. Let's aim for the 8x8 rule, meaning you should drink 8 glasses of 8 ounces of water each day, and if that sounds unappetizing to you, try flavoring your water with fruit or low-calorie flavor packets. In addition to water, include two to three servings of low-fat dairy. Look to limit or avoid empty calories coming from soda or lemonade. If you're drinking juice, find a 100% fruit juice and limit your intake to a half cup one to two times per day. Also look to limit or avoid your alcohol intake, as alcohol increases the risk of developing head and neck, esophageal, liver, breast, and colorectal cancers. Include a variety of food from all the different food groups to provide us with vitamins and minerals. Prepare simple meals and even cook two to three meals ahead of time and freeze them for later. Fruits, vegetables, and legumes provide us with fiber and antioxidants. Fiber is great for keeping our digestive system on track and antioxidants are molecules that help fight against cell damage and prevent cancer. Include antioxidant rich sources into your diet each day. Include five or more servings of fruits and vegetables by including fresh, frozen, or canned products. Rich sources of antioxidants can be found in our vibrant colored fruits and vegetables, so don't forget to color your plate. But remember, research has found that high-dose supplements of some nutrients can affect the risk of different cancers. The benefits of fruits and vegetables should be found in whole real fruits and vegetables where you can find the best source of nourishment. If you are currently taking a supplement, Talk with your doctor or registered dietitian to make sure that it is appropriate for you. Try and limit those processed pastas, breads, and snack cakes, as those have been stripped of the vitamins and minerals. Instead, look for whole grain as the first ingredient listed on the package. Try and make half your grains whole each day unless specified by your healthcare provider. There are a variety of foods that you can include to provide whole grains, such as popcorn, spelt, quinoa, or barley. Limit your intake of red meat to no more than 18 ounces per week and avoid eating large amounts of processed meats such as lunch meat, hot dogs, or bologna. Include poultry and fish to provide you with lean sources of protein. You can also find plant-based sources of protein in nuts, tofu, and whole grains. Talk to your doctor about including physical activity into your week. Moderate exercise can improve fatigue and is a great way to strengthen your muscles and your heart. So to wrap it up, stick to the basics. Include fruits and vegetables, whole grains and legumes, lean protein, and low-fat dairy. Include an appropriate amount of calories to maintain or reach an ideal body weight. And if you need more guidance in maintaining, gaining, or losing weight, talk to a registered dietitian to help you create a nutritious and balanced eating plan. Thank you for listening, and have a great day.